everyone, it's Lindy. So here we are for another Motivation Monday. So first off, I have to apologize that there was no Motivation Monday last week. Last Monday was a very, very busy day, and unfortunately, I just could not squeeze it into the schedule. Like, really busy. So, this morning, I thought to myself, I don't even know what Motivation Monday is going to be about this week. And then something occurred to me. If you'll notice, I'm kind of sitting in a different location. I figured that while I was sitting here working, Motivation Monday suddenly popped into my head. And, it, and I decided that this is what this Motivation Monday is going to be about. This Motivation Monday, I want to talk about a hobby versus a job. Now, I get a lot of emails from people and it's my own experience that as a reseller, you do catch a lot of, I don't want to say hate, but you catch a lot of discontentment with what you do, maybe. You know, people might not take it seriously. Um, you know, there have been times where locally I have been asked what I do um, by other moms in the area or just people that I've struck up conversations with in the waiting room at the dentist's office or whatever. And, you know, I tell them, I'm a reseller. And they kind of at first look at me like, what is that? You know, and then I go further to explain, I buy goods and resell them, on, resell them on online forums like eBay or Amazon. And they go, oh, oh, but what do you really do? Yeah, what do I really do? Like it's a hobby, okay? First, I want to address a hobby versus a job. If you go look up the definition of a hobby, it states that a hobby is an activity that one does at their leisure for pleasure and generally will cost money. Okay, that's a hobby. A job makes money. Hobby, job, hobby, job. So let me ask you this. When you buy something intending to resell it, do you do it to make money or do you do it because the sourcing, the photographing, the listing, the selling, the packaging, and all of that gives you pleasure? Which one? I'll give you a really quick way to know the difference between the two. When you sell something that you have purchased for resale, and you made zero profit, was it worth it to you? If it was worth it to you to do all of that work for zero profit, that means it's a hobby. It means that you like going and finding stuff. You like taking all of your time to photograph it. You like taking all the time to list it. You love taking the time to package it and taking it to the post office. That makes it a hobby. But for those of us, that buy something to resell, expecting to make a profit on it, and you put forth all of that work and energy into things, yeah, that's called a job. That's a job. So when I have people tell me that I have a really nice hobby that might make a little bit of money, frankly, it pisses me off. Because you know what? This ain't a hobby. This is a downright hard job. For example, just look at this. This is what I'm dealing with today. Look, uh, look at all those clothes. This is all in processing. Uh, uh, and then look at all these. Oh yeah, look at all that. Oh, uh, look at all these clothes. And there's another row back there too. Oh, look at all that stuff. Oh, look at all that. Does that look like a fun hobby to you? No, it's not. It's a pain in the ass. It's a lot of hard work. But you know what? I do it because it makes money. That's why it's a job. So 
Is this Motivation Monday really motivating? I don't know. Maybe it feels like a little bit more of a rant, I guess, because I have heard the hobby phrase so many times. I have had other mothers and people that I've met ask me what I do for a living, and then I tell them what I do, and they literally will look at me and go, what do you really do? I've had enough of that happen to where I just need to kind of bah about it a little bit. And I know that a lot of you guys are feeling it too because I've gotten emails from you guys, you know, saying that your family members don't really understand why you do it. You know, your friends don't really understand why you do it. They don't think of it as a real job. I know other resellers that are out there that are getting that same slack, you know, like they're full of it and they're not really making money at this because you can't really make money at this. But you know what? You can. That's why so many people do it. It's possible to do it. It is possible to support yourself doing it. You know, right now I'm just part time, but I would love to get to full time status someday. You know, maybe someday when both of my kids are in school and they don't require my attention during the entire day, I would love to treat this full time, you know? So it is a job. And so I guess this Motivation Monday is just kind of, you know, venting out to you guys that I feel you. You know, if you're dealing with haters or you're dealing with people that don't really believe what you do is a real job, it is. It is work. Nobody puts in all of the time, effort, and money into busting your butt to list things and photograph things and package things and deal with customer complaints and deal with returns and answering questions about your items. Nobody does that for pleasure to break even. That is a hobby. When you spend money and do something that you enjoy and make nothing at it. If you make a profit, that's called a freaking job. So anybody that don't believe that needs to get their facts straight. This is a real job that makes real money for people. Right? Right. So I guess that a motivating part of this video can be me telling you guys what I'm trying to motivate myself to do. Okay, so I have been thinking about it and I've decided what my goals are for the end of the year, start of the new year. So when I look today, I currently have 358 active listings, which is pretty low for me. You know, about two months ago, I was running closer to 500, but then life started to get in the way, lots of things started happening, and I started selling more than I was listing, and sure enough, my active listings started to drop, and so now I'm down to 358. But now, as I just showed you, I have an abundance of inventory, and this is not all of it, you guys. I have like eight bins of stuff that's not even inside this room, just laying in wait, waiting to be listed. It's a little overwhelming, especially for a part-timer. So here's the deal. These are my goals and maybe my goals can help motivate you guys a little bit. Maybe you guys can set your own goals for the end of the year, but this is my plan. By December 31st, I want 500 active listings running in my store flat, just 500 at all times. So what do I need to accomplish in order to get there? So if I have 358 active listings now and I want 500, that means that in order for me to hit 500 by the end of this month, that means that I need to list between five and six new items a day over what I'm selling. So if I'm selling 10 items that day, I need to list 16. If I only sold eight, I need to list 14. Whatever I sell in a day, I need to list at least five to six over that in order to hit that 500 active listing goal by the end of the month. So I set a goal for myself to list between 15 and 20 a day, period. 15 to 20 new ones a day, end of story, period. I want 500 active listings in my store by the end of this month because come January 1st, I have decided that I am going to subscribe to a premium store. Um, a lot of people ask me about my store. I do just have a basic store subscription right now. I do just pay the $24.95 a month because number one, I hate contracts. I don't like being locked into them. And two, 
once you go from that premium or once you go from that basic store to a premium store it's a big price jump and you can't really tone it down once you reach that point because once you lock in and i will lock into a contract for the premium because you know with the basic it's a difference of five dollars whether or not you lock into a contract but with the premium it's more like a twenty dollar difference so i'm definitely going to be locking into a contract for the premium um but you know, so right now I'm just paying a lot of insertion fees, but the reason why I don't mind paying those insertion fees is because first off, I am a top rated plus seller, which means I get a 20% discount on my invoice. So those discounts end up eating up all of my fees anyway, so I don't have to even pay them. But you know, another reason why I haven't upgraded just yet is because I knew, you know, in November and December, I was going to be slowing down my listing a little bit because I knew my husband was going to be coming home. I knew the holidays were going to be coming. You know, I knew that there was going to be a lot of stuff going on. And once you hit that premium store level and you're paying that 60 bucks a month, you can't really slow down because then you're wasting a whole bunch of listings that you have and you're still paying all the money for it. So I have decided January 1st, I am switching to premium. It's going to be a new year. I'm going to hit it off and running and I want to have 500 active items in my store at that time. Yeah. So I have set my end of year goals for eBay. I encourage you to do the same. You know, think about what you want to accomplish for the rest of this month. Think about how you want to kick off 2017 because this month is flying by guys. It is already December 5th. I cannot even believe it. It's just this whole month is just going to fly. Before we know it, we're going to blink our eyes. It's going to be Christmas. It's then, then it's going to be New Year's. And I'm telling you, you're going to want to have your goals set straight. You are going to want to know what you're looking at for 2017. Because if you have a clear view of what you're looking at, it's going to be so much more attainable than if you're just kind of wandering blindly and trying to figure out what you want to do. Set some goals. Get it done. That's part of the reason why I wanted to go to do my first trip to the bins yesterday because I knew that for right now I had about maybe 150, 200 items that I could list, but I wanted more than that. I wanted, you know, this abundance of stuff so that it almost forced me to get listing because I have probably between four and 500 items to list now. And when you have that many, you got to bust your butt. You got to move. You got to get it done. And I'm telling you that busting your butt with this kind of stuff, that ain't no hobby. No, that's not a hobby. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, I hope that you will. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comments below. I do also want to just point out that the number of comments and emails that I have been getting is just insanity. I can't even believe it. So I just want to make sure that you guys know that even if I'm not replying to your comments, that I am still reading them. It's just really hard for me to just sit at the computer for a couple hours and do it. Um, but I am still seeing them. If you're sending me emails, I will reply. It's just going to take me a little bit of time. Um, cause it, I think right now I have like 50 sitting that need to be responded and that's just in a few days. So I thank you guys though so much for it. I just don't want you to think I forgot about you. I have not forgotten about you. It's just been so crazy busy. So anyway, all right, you guys, thank you for watching so much. I will see you with my next video. Bye.